Hey, JD Sutar here, AFC Northerners, Ravens. How's it going, guys? All right, so we got the Panthers. Let's talk about that. So Hurst is out, Alex is doubtful, Avert is questionable, could play, Bradley Bozeman is questionable, no Tory Smith, Aww. Cam Newton might have a shoulder injury, that's interesting to think about, and hopefully we won't see Illuminor ever see the light of day, personal preference. So the Panthers are averaging 23.7 points per game, and their defense is allowing 21.8 points per game. And a victory here on Sunday would give the Ravens a 5-3 record. This is going to be a tough, low-scoring road game. Uh, Baltimore's defense, which has just five interceptions this season, is looking to pick up more on that. Now, the Ravens haven't lost consecutive games this season. So a victory on Sunday could give the Ravens a 5-3 record. It would also snap an eight-game winning streak for the Panthers at Bank of America Stadium. It's not an easy place to play, guys. Not an easy place to play. In Baltimore's defense, we only have five interceptions this season, so we'd like a lot more than that. Honestly, right now, if the Ravens don't come to play in this game, our playoffs are in major jeopardy, to be honest. Now, the home team is somehow an underdog in this game in a lot of places, which is crazy to me because the Panthers' offense pulled off three long drives in one succession over Philadelphia. Not to mention that in place for scoring, Carolina is sixth in the NFL. So the real question is whether or not Carolina's defense outperforms our offense. And the Panthers also lead the NFL in 5.2 yards per carry. The Panthers are very stingy against the run, and Julius Peppers has had two strip sacks, I think, in the last two games. Panthers rookie cornerback Dante Jackson has three interceptions already for the season. So if Flacco doesn't come out hot, we could have a really bad game. Also, we don't have Steve Smith. I miss Steve Smith. I really miss Steve Smith. The NFL's just more boring without Steve Smith playing in it. Now, John Brown is averaging about 19.9 yards per catch. That's insane. It's great for us. Joe Flacco has been pretty accurate at seeing whether or not he can be consistent. On the offensive line, it'll be interesting to see how Orlando Brown Jr. grows. Uh, he was a little slow to start in the last game. Uh, I was a little concerned about his athleticism, but we'll see whether or not that pulls through this game. Other things that I'm concerned about is the run game, and not just because of the offensive line. I think the offensive line is actually doing okay. It's not very bad. It's, it's trying to fix its mistakes. I'm also concerned that Alex Collins has a habit of sometimes telegraphing a play right at the beginning of it, and his vision isn't the greatest in zone schemes. He could be better there. We saw last week with Hayden Hurst, he actually missed a really crucial block against the Saints, so I'd like to see less of that. We still have drop problems. Why do we still have drop problems? So Carolina's offense against our defense is a radically different story. The Saints just kind of tore us apart in the fourth quarter. They were actually really, really good about keeping us on our back foot there. And that brings us to Cam Newton. Now just to put this in perspective, Carolina has won three out of the last five matchups against the Ravens. And you also have to watch out for their no huddle offense because it's a threat. Plus, Panthers are 3-0 and at home this season. Cam Newton leads the entire NFL quarterbacks with 257 yards rushing and that is a problem for us because we saw it last week whenever we were going against Taysom Hill that we have a problem with mobile quarterbacks that like to run. Now it's more likely the Panthers come out hot that's kind of Cam Newton style and just go right to town and score early and score hard. Now our secondary can absolutely be beat if the quarterback has time and we need to be way more on the pressure of Cam Newton especially with the fact that he's mobile and especially with the fact that he has the ability to make those big plays. So one of the things for me to watch is Ryan Khalil on the front line to see whether or not they can keep Cam safe. Also I'd keep an eye out for Bird and DJ Moore. Those guys are no joke. Play calling is good. I fully expect Suggs to be able to get at Cam. I don't think that that's going to be a non-factor. Fan prediction, I would say 1917 Ravens. I think that RD can hold in the second half, um, probably even into the fourth quarter. Uh, I think that we prevent points. We still need to work on our run game and make sure that Alex Collins' vision is there. I see Flacco probably targeting more of the tight ends like Boyle and maybe Hurst. We'll see some of that out of them. Uh, some deep balls of Smokey just to be able to get past their secondary. Maybe Crabtree catches everything. Maybe not, but Tucker doesn't miss a kick. Real world prediction, I have no fucking clue. Uh, this is a real good matchup for determining the rest of the season. If our defense produces, but the offense is lacking, then we're not just going to put points on the board. My gut is saying that Panthers win this 26-14. If we lose by three points or less, it'll pretty much confirm our worst fears and that this will be the story of a lot of games for the rest of the season. If we win by three points or less, I think we have a shot at winning eight to nine games, which I think puts us off in a wild card position. If we win by a touchdown, or more, I think we have a shot at the playoffs, but it really depends on our coaching and our play calling. We are a good team. If this is not a winning season for us, it's on the coaches in my opinion. So philosophical football question of the week. Do you ever see the NFL doing another team expansion? And if so, where and when? Because I've been thinking about this a lot. I don't know that we'll ever see another team expansion like we have. What do you think?
that's it for me. Make sure you check out DGBG, Dave Green Browns guy. Uh, make sure you check out Mark Herman. And also, um, I know that the Steelers guys put up one. I'm sorry I'm late. It's been a crazy week. But luckily, I've got some breathing room next week, and I'll be able to get into this more. Good luck to us. Fuck the Panthers. Love you, Steve Smith. Mer. Fuck the rest of the AFC North. Let's have a good game, guys. No injuries. <laughs>